breakfast of champions. Kind of. So yeah, I thought I'd do a different video for once. So I'm an electrician and I like editing basically, so yeah, what we're gonna do is today, well I'm social house and electrician, so I think today I've got on voids. I'm going to avoid so I have to a test and we'll see what it's like. It might be absolutely terrible. But also it could be pretty good. Let's hope for pretty good because it's too cold. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now. So first I'm gonna go to electric First we're gonna go get some materials. Obviously you presume we won't see it, but go go get our materials back. It's that so long. Well, we let the van warm up. Cause it's fucking freezing this morning. We should be allowed to work in this cold. Anyway, I'm an electrician, so I'm gonna be rich soon. I'm an electrician, so obviously I'm gonna be rich soon. So that's good, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get going. Let's get started. And quicker we'll go, the quicker we'll back home. So that's it. Yeah. Don't look that bad. No smoke arms out there, which he still smokes. Let's have a look around. Check it to make sure the lights work. Keep it on the little there. Have a look in the front room. That's a bit shoddy, isn't it? Two sockets in the whole room. One single, one double in a living room. Not bad. <laughs> Go upstairs. Fun at work. Yeah. 
two single suckers in here. Don't want people to live with such little suckers. Not cool. Well, we know that we don't look that bad, to be honest. So it's all so small for arms. We do LD tools now, so a few need doing. And a uh, couple of little bits and bobs, nothing major. So yeah, let's get to it. I do see this quite a bit as well. Basically, they've took the cooker out, lift it all on and everything. I've been zooming there, not even. I'm assuming they're not even tightened up. Nope. Basically, the technical cook could honestly leave this, uh, that's technically, I would say, C1. But obviously, it doesn't matter, like, I'm going to put one on before I go. Yeah, so that's C1, obviously, live parts, but we don't really feel them here. They have to pass, so. Uh, I'll get one out of the van and I'll put a new one on. Other than that, it all looks not look too bad. That works as well. So, yeah, let's get the tester out and start doing some testing. Manufacturer screws, there's no one else. It's obviously for you though, that's secure. But yeah, not the best way to do it. So I don't know, this place isn't that bad. I thought it'd be a lot worse than what it is. Once again, do you reckon it's going to be a rat's nest? Put coins below. I don't, I mean, I don't give a fuck to be honest. Yes. Absolute rat's nest. See this quite a bit, and we'll get you a bit closer. As you see, all over. Full of crap. It's all out there. All I've gone through without putting grommets in. It's nice. And a hell of a lot of copper on them. But, fuck that, it's not to do with me. Not neatening up, I'm just going to test it. Put everything back. Oh my god, what's all that? Oh, they've joined buzz bars onto each other. And they haven't even done it very well. Look at that. So I have to extend them buzz bars as well. So yeah. I so say this is what we have to deal with basically when you do social housing. There's always a lot of shit like this. But all their days work, man. Test it out and do a ZD first. He was a nut tester, a good old trusty fluke. Fluke, what is it? 1652C. The big dog of him. Uh, do something to sell them out. I've seen people online that do the little bird it. I think that's pretty cool, to be honest. Let's do a ZA, shall we? I reckon it's going to be very low. Cost up here. The substation is literally down the road. So I bet it's under. I don't know. I bet it's under 0 0.10. Let's say 0 0.6, I think. 
Also a bit off, 0 0.16. We're at 1.6, I mean 1.6 kiloamps. Put it back in. This is looking really shoddily. Oh, and the bond didn't just fall out. It's not even in. No, it didn't properly. And I ain't touched that one, by the way. I ain't touched the bottom in here. Come on, you little fucker. Get your fucking ass in. Little cunt. Excuse the bad language. But I am alone, talking to myself like a crazy person. You know how it is, you know how it is. Here we go. Get yourself back in there, you little Fucker! There we go. Now I won't be getting my torque screwdriver and torque them all up. I don't personally agree with it. But, obviously the company I work for say so I have to. I, was, I don't like it because I honestly believe that a lot of the times, especially on big cables like 10mm or even the tails, it's just not tight enough. The tank, talk up to what is this wild so it's at 2.5, 2.4 newton meters. Oh, two on the RCBOs, but I think they've got 2.4 on the main switch. But, uh, yeah, and I just find they can pull it out. I can just pull the cable straight out. So it's all well and good saying, yeah, I did it to manufacturer's specs and it's right, but if the house burns down, they're only going to blame you saying that you didn't do it right. You're not going to say, oh yeah, no, you, you talked it up, it's our fault. So I'd rather just do a screwdriver. I'm out, is it? Perspective fault current is 1.7. Well, perspective F. 0.16 ohms for the ZE. 1.7 kilohams for perspective F. Circuit. One point six. And this is a TNCS system, by the way. If you want to know. So the PSC is one point seven K. That shows obviously that's the right way around. So yeah, that's the main bit, Zeddy. So yeah, we'll start next, we'll do some end to ends. That's about, I've seen a lot of people lately online. They've been a uh, coder and they see RCD. Now I don't code it, I don't see any point, not when it's just normal stuff. If it had like an outside car charger or something, yeah, maybe if it, if it was on that one, maybe, but well I would, but not when it's just a standard out, standard sockets, heating, lights, and shower. It's not needed. I don't think it is, not to code it anyway. Oh, the R80 RCDs. I ain't checked the main fuse size yet. I don't know if it's even sealed like that. Well, I not properly. So, we'll have a look. Other than that, what can you do about it? I'm fine with RC type ones. I won't put them in nowadays, new, but. Yeah. It's so under there, so it can stay there for me.
Oh, that's something. Got a downstairs socket on a 16 amp MCB. So I'm assuming we're not going to get end to ends on that. It's been a fault at some point and someone just downgraded it. But we'll see. We'll see. What's your thoughts on that? Because I know people who won't do that. They split it on two different circuits, which I suppose they matter two separate radials, as long as you took the broken bit out. It doesn't matter, does it? Oh, there's another thing. We'll put a 1.5 cable on a 16 amp MCB. Now what is the ref what's the reference method obviously in click direct, it goes in the walls, under the floorboards, up the walls, so it's not click direct, it's B. And I think click direct it only does 100, 100 whatever. Click direct it's only about 16 and a half amps. Is it? Or is it 16 amps? Oh no, I'll, I'll have a look in the book. But I'm sure that's not right. If it ain't right, we'll just drop it to 1.5. Actually, just give me a sec. Give me a look. Actually, according to the Mappet book, that, that can take 16 amps. Well, for reference B, because it's definitely not C, not in the walls. There's no insulation either. There's no insulation. In the walls upstairs, <coughs> I assume I'll have a look. So technically, it's fine. I mean, I won't do that. Yeah, technically, it's all right, but. Might, I've got some in the van, I might just drop it down to a 6 amp anyway, just for my own, oh man, factor well. I'll drop it down to a 6. I know it's not needed, but I don't have no 16s on the van anyway, but I've got quite a few 6s. So if I drop that down to a 6, that gives me a 16 amp MCB as well. That's what I'll do. I really like these as well. Nipex, was it four in ones or was it six in one? I don't know. But they're good. Oh, nothing on, no end to end on the van. Wow, what do you want to call it? Not quite free on the neutral. Two point five now. Free eight. Yeah, but that's about right. Point three, two point five now. So, well, what is this? The kit. <laughs> it's the kitchen. <coughs> kitchen basically. So what I'm assuming, I see it all the time, <coughs> which I'll take you with me. I'm assuming one of these, a few spares, I've got it wired wrong. This is why I always switch these few spares off because I bet you one of these, no oh, it's got power off. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Yeah one of these basically will be wired wrong and the lav for the ring will be in the load side so basically as long as these are turned on you've got your full ring second someone turns these off you lose your ring which one could it be there well i reckon that one's going to be the hardest to get to so touch that on now we'll have a look at this again. And there we go. Oh, 
Guess what? 0.37. So yeah, that's wired wrong. So I'll just go quickly wire it the right way around. But I'll say this is why I tear all fuse. People come in, I see them and just do a test. It all works out fine. But they've got fuel spares on and all of a sudden now you haven't got a ring once one turns it off, so I always turn all the fuel spares off, everyone I see, just to be sure. So yeah, let's go quickly do that. We're back in the dash. Let's go do my R1 R2s. Right, let's Don't think there's going to be anything interesting if I'm honest. Today. Doesn't look like it. Because as far as I know, this is the only job I've got on today. Test this. Correct any faults. And install the smoke alarms. So yeah. Don't think it'll be out, out fun. But you never know. I might make it fun. I'm a fun guy. Awesome, eh? Look at me, I'm thinking. look at me, they're looking. Right this very second, there's two dickheads looking back at each other. Look at me. That one's funny. But, you know, funny it might have been. I was obviously incorrect. See yeah. Oh no, the other button says leaving. I love it! You love to see it. However, I believe this is one mil earth. Yes, it even says on the original thing, one mil earth. <coughs> so as you know, the calculation for it is different. I might put on the screen, I might not. But I will work it out. Yes. That is correct. I've really done anything. They are a little secret. But that is about what I would say. 0.33, not 0.7. 3 times 2.5, 0.75. Okay, fine with that. Sockets, two doubles and four singles. I'm a full upstairs. <coughs> I don't know. I think the fuse board is just below us here. Might be easier. Got a special, special ring. Can I just jump straight through that? How's that it looks? Oh, fuck me. No problem for safety not seeing that. Jumping from the ceiling. That's what I'd like to, I'm wondering. What do you do about the one mil, one mil uh, CPC? I've seen people again, they've actually coded it because of the perspective fault coming in that, but Right, I've got the mains, if it happened here, 1.7 kilo amps, but I 
can't see it being a problem personally. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong, but personally, I don't think that would be a problem. So that one was 0.62. So that's the highest I looked because for both of them, one same circuit. Well, same MCB, so I'm going to put one highest reading 0.6. Oh, sorry, it's 0.68. I bet I'm there. Slide it down. Not 0.62. Slide it down. However, that is all the sockets. So what's that one doing? What's that extra one doing in there? That's every socket on the whole place. I'm going to have to disconnect that one until I find out what it's for. So if there's no loose wires in there, let's fucking hope. That's a little bit higher than I thought it'd be. There we go. No point no six. That's far away. Nope, it's not. Anyone do with these? Bosh go. Oh, they're amazing. I was looking at one of the speedy ones, nearly. No, oh, fuck it, how loose that is. Yeah, still getting the same reading, but <coughs> that was obviously out of R2. But that was very loose neutral. At least I put Quartz in, which is a bonus because some people fucking don't. I don't know how long this video is going to be because I wouldn't be in here a while. As anyway, I'm doing a video, so who knows what I'm going to want it until hopefully not too long. Only time will tell. <laughs> Fucking worth a way to go, please. So I've got one of these little bad boys to cover the fucker up. Salted. So they've put the power to it. So obviously that still works as it should. With a normal switch. Even though it is a lot of flex. And that powers. That. Not the best way to do it is it? Here's some I'm wondering. Uh, we basically have. Sorry about the echo, I fell into it. We basically have compliance people who go after us, we'll do a test and do everything, and someone will come in. Not a lot of jobs, but every now and then we'll go in certain ones. 
to make sure we're complying with what we're supposed to do, the regs, all that. And one thing they pick us up for is that. Basically, no scare. More than one of these, basically. More of them. Yeah, if I don't have one of them skirts, we get picked up for it. Basically, their class is a C2, apparently. Don't know how in any way, shape or form that's a C2. But that's what they say, so when we're coming, they'll basically fail it, say, no, no. You basically, it's failed, failed the ICR. And then we, it'll go back to my manager, managers will ring us up. Well, we just got failed one from what you said was fine. And I say the fail them, basically C2, that missing. So obviously we'll put them on, obviously I'll make sure they're on that, but how in any way, shape or form is that C2? I don't personally know. But I can see maybe if it was in like a bathroom, but like high up, you know, so it's out of the zones. Moisture could get on it and like drip onto the light, and that's why you put a skirt on, so the moisture drips away from the bulb. I could maybe see it, possibly, but even then, so, I don't know, but I just thought, is there anyone else getting them sort of things? Because some of the stuff we get told that we're filled for because of the compliance people is absolute bollocks. I honestly would like to believe, whoever these compliance people are, I'd like to follow them around and do some tests with them and see what they actually do. Because I would put money on it, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But we'll see. Anyway, right over. I'm not going to film doing the, the other hour on our tools. Can I just get a bit of a shimmy on? It's already half ten. So, I'll see you probably when I'm about to do a live test. Have a zoom. I've just done a long lead test for the bonding to make sure that's right and seems fine, so that's good. I can't see it in there though, in the water one, I can't see the actual bond clamp. But I clamped onto the actual water vein. It's got a reading, it's there. So, yeah, it's absolutely fine. It'll go down as an observation, obviously, see through that I can't see the final connection. Uh, let's do some insulation testing. Just to turn all the stuff on. <coughs> Actually, I took the other one out. Just put it there for now because I don't know what it's for. But I'm sure before the end of the test I'll figure it out. So I mean, even though it's old wiring, I mean it's been a very long time, especially with it being one mil F. And yet, I'm still getting 500 mega ohms and 500 volts. A lot to F, obviously. Still 500. Yeah, still 500. It's on everything. I was like, we have to take this out of all, all the uh, MCB, I mean the RCBO can do it, but other than that, I'd say the full things. Even though it's stupid, it's probably about 25 years old. I don't know, 25 years old, but yeah, probably more than that in fact. But yeah, it's still fucking perfectly usable, except for obviously this rat's nest. Perfectly usable. So when people say it's all cabling, need a rewire, not necessarily.
I'll do nothing. Houston, we have a problem. Well, kind of problem. Lights are no longer working. Aha! Uh -huh. This. Just touched it and they're all, all flickering. Don't know if you can hear it either. It's a weird noise that. I think the MCV might be fucked or it might not be in properly, which it should be in, because I'll put it in myself. Let's have a look. Turn that off, see if I'm working on that one. You know, add loads of bits in it because there's all these bits in here. I should clean out really. Bet yeah, that's where it was. I had loads of little bits in it. Put it back. Absolutely shoddy. I am going to get a new buzz bar, I just haven't got one. So I'm still going to finish my test. I'll come back for that. to figure out exactly what it's for. Perfect. I'll just put it in the, in the air bar for now. Because I'll only forget about it. Done. I've done the full set of tests as you're supposed to. Done the 
Long leads to make sure the bonding's in place. <coughs> I've changed that for the 6 out. I know, technically, you can take 16, clip direct as well. B, so in the wall, conduit, something like that. But who knows if there's a little bit of insulation somewhere, or has to be 100 mil, some bit of insulation somewhere, and it's totally different. And it's a heat so it's probably not going to pull out anyway. But anyway, I've changed it anyway because I wanted the breaker. Uh, but yeah, that's everything. I found one, two, three, four, five, six, seven observations. Two of them was, one was a P1, I mean a P1. One was a C1, two was C2s, and the rest C3s. So it was like the exposed glass in there where that was missing for the cooker. Uh, was it, yeah, the fuse spare been wired wrong, so there was no end to end if you turned it off. C2, what else is it? It's like mechanical protection in the sockets and no, no protection for the cables entering the metal back box and sockets, but see through and what's in the consumer unit. Uh, yeah, one of the sockets in the kitchen was giving me extremely high R1 R2. So, like two ones, I don't know if I saw it in the corner. So, I see to change that. Buzz bar. Obviously not continuous, so I'm going to bodge it all in. But I ain't got one on yet. I will come back and I'll do that. When I get one, obviously I'll get some order. <coughs> uh, yeah, I just need to install some more clans. So we do all need to, so I need one here in the hallway. Heat in the kitchen. One in the living room. One in the landing upstairs. Maybe one in the loft. Because it's got some stuff up there. It's got like a... Positive airflow thing, what a fan, whatever you want to call it. Positive airflow pressure to push the damp out. So, a fire could start up there, so. Might put a multi sensor up there, but we'll see. But yeah, so electrical wires, so fine now, except for the buzz bar. But obviously, I'll, I'll be coming back tomorrow to change that. I won't believe it, no one will move in before I do it. So yeah, I say fuck it, let's get these smoke lines in and fuck off home. Probably not. Probably still gonna be late there. But I forgot to do that fucking damn thing again. I'm on one. Why am I talking to myself like that? Love yourself, lads. Kings. Well, I think that loads my roots. Uh, I'll just show you now. Basically, <coughs> the board is just below there in the corner. I'll bring the power up. First one there for the old way, straight down through this. That's just a cable I found, I don't, I don't have cover that spot. And then right there for the next one, that's for the kitchen heat. And back down here, put that up. Straight down here. To there, where I can get into that all oh, what's already there, all the way down and down to here. There you see there, that's the living room one. And then I need one somewhere here, because I'm taking that down obviously. I need one somewhere here. But what I'm gonna do is we use the echo ones, so I'm basically gonna take the power off that. It's for the fans. I'm going to take the power off that and just put it somewhere around here and I'm going to get a wireless interlink and basically link this one to the ones downstairs wirelessly.
And that's how I've done it. Straight from there, put a clip on it, metal on just in case. Because through all this, see them there, clips just in case. Because obviously that one pulls down there, so I haven't put no clips in. I put one at the end, one in the middle, and one there. So it's better than nothing, but I pull all the slack and it's metal clips. So I should, as you can see, this is a bit of a sweep, but it's all back down. It's the living room one. Hallway. Kitchen. Pete. I always try and put it a bit away from the actual oven. Because it can just go off generally, so should be fine there. Quick update. What I've done is I've took the lav and I've used a neutral for the earth from the switch and they've gone back up and I've took the neutral from the actual light fitting which then goes into that switch to go outside it works so I'm taking it out anyway but who gives a fuck there's these smoke lines are up that's not to do me that but yeah smoke lines are up everywhere as they should basically I just need to basically clean up finish cleaning up and I also need to label the board. Because obviously it's got all these stickers everywhere, but I put our sticker on it, and obviously the smoke alarm installed it. Uh, yeah, other than that, other than that, everything's done. Tested out, fine, sorted everything that's needed. And yeah, it's been a bit of a fuck about. All the floorboards are back down, everything. So. This is basically my work day today. It's not, it's not what I normally do. I normally do day to day, it's house to like 10 hours a day. But it's something a bit different what I don't normally do. So yeah, let's go and get some light. <laughs> so, I don't know why I keep saying so. Probably can't fucking donut, but other than that, it's all sorted. So, oh, I said it again. <laughs> what a fucking idiot I am. Anyway, that's me done. I'm gonna clean up, put a label on the board, and go on. So that's mum. I keep saying so. Anyway, see you later. Bye.